Aquarius sun sign, but also for those with Aquarian ascendant. Okay, so my cliff notes on October is that it may be the best month of 2015, but I'm starting with the new moon. It's somewhat artificial to uh, think of a month astrologically in any way except the moon cycle. So I'd like for you to start being attuned to the moon cycle if possible, and you can maximize your luck in October. Um, actually, um, the first half of October is a little tricky. The second half is much better. Now, Mercury is in retrograde until October 9th, and so in this case, you're trying to sort out some controversy or some conflicts regarding education, religion, and philosophy. It's it, it, either you feel like you've got to tie up some loose ends, that things aren't quite right, um, and you know, you're trying to re, uh, you know, analyze what is your role as a global citizen. Um, so that takes some time. October 3rd through 9th, Mars is forming opposition to Neptune. And in the, um, Mars is in your ninth house, uh, rather your eighth house. So this means that you do have opportunities for collaborations, contracts, and troubleshooting. And yet there are some very complicated situations that exist in your finances, your resources, your aesthetics and your instincts. So you have to tread very lightly as you set up new collaborations to make sure that the people have the same type of attitude towards resources and aesthetics that you have. And, um, and yet there's always gonna be, you know, I mean, the only person that's just like you is you. So it's hard to find complete. So you have to be happy with a certain amount of compatibility. Um, October 4th through 9th, the sun is square to Pluto. So in this case, again, sun in the ninth house of education and religion, emphasizing global awareness and you're you know, maybe getting some traveling done, but um, you have a very profound and deep sense of spirituality, which could include certain trade secrets. And uh, maybe you're in a period of spiritual transformation, which would be indicated by Pluto in the 12th house. And then, of course, nothing wrong with a little bit of obsession compulsive complex. You know, that's okay because this sometimes, sometimes really successful people have this. And so you've just got these like really like funny superstitions or omens. Okay, well, that's all right. Anyway, but maybe you don't want everybody in an in a education or religious context to know that you're really keeping score on all these secret things. All right, well, so that's, you know, a little bit of secrecy there works out. Now, October 6th through 16th, it's now, now in this place, you're, you know, really collaborations, contracts, troubleshooting, business emphasis is a big thing for uh, September 2015 through September or August 2016. So you really have a whole year here to build up your business. And now in this case, your spirituality, your dreams or your sense of, um, you know, intuition, and it is really going to help you. So even if you do have a little bit of OCD, um, you know, maybe that can work in your favor. And maybe you just are, uh, in terms of coping with a nemesis, maybe you just don't want any negative thoughts whatsoever. Well, I mean, that means you really want to be a very clear thinker and you're very altruistic. October 9th, Mercury goes back to prograde motion. So all these controversies involving education or philosophy are now winding down. And um, then now we're getting into this new moon phase, even though it's on the 12th, the new moon time window is the 410th through the 14th. So this is the time now to get more education and Aquarians love education and to be you know, involved with religious or religious institutions while well, it's just another chance to meet all kinds of great people and philosophies and discussions, again, great people. I mean, these are just things that Aquarians love. So, um, so you really wanna be open and, and, and ta tactical, plan things out so you can really be in, in as many of these wonderful places and meet all these great people as much as possible. And just any kind of introverted thing, well, you know, don't let that happen. Just go introduce yourself and just um, be really active because there's some really great players here, science, agricultural, philosophy, really interesting subjects, and also the culture scene is very active, and, and the whole thing of hope versus cynicism. Well, Aquarians are known to be really hopeful people, really upbeat people, so you're gonna be very appreciated. Even if you're a little bit skeptical about certain things and kind of contrarian thinking, that could be appreciated if you, if you frame that you know, in a positive way. So our experience in the first half of, of um, October that it might have to do with uh, you know, minor scandals, a little bit of betrayal or distraction, 
Uh, if, you, if you're able to surmount those, this builds your character really strong. So now the reward is you can be attuned to culture, science, and justice. These are arenas that are going you know, to provide interesting good life and more ex, you know, kind of exploration, education, religion, global awareness. Now, the thing that's really bizarre and interesting with Uran this new moon is opposed to Uranus. So there's going to be a lot of surprises, new teams, new projects, but it could be a little manic. So with Uranus in your third house, that you have been really involved with futuristic things in terms of uh, new wave meetings, um, hosting unusual events, uh, re uh, reinventing your media skills, and you know a lot of uh, you know eccentricity and charisma in your proximity-based links that is really super friendly to all your friends and neighbors. But you can see what I'm doing is I'm combining the um, the, the symbolism of the planet Uranus in the third house here. So October 4th through 20th, Mars is conjunct Jupiter. So this could be very good for your business. A great sense of enterprise, progressive phase. So use your engineering phase. They use your engineering skills, rather, and your design talent for collaborations, contracts, troubleshooting, and to build your business. And this, this combination of Mars and Jupiter is supposed to be really, really outstanding. I mean, it often ushers in a whole new bull market, let's say, or a whole new uh, enterprising phase. And then to make it even sweeter, Venus conjunct Jupiter. So this means that not only are you able and equipped to do business, people are going to want to do business with you. People are going to want to collaborate with you. So this is a very, the bright lights unite to bring joy and success. Now the full moon, October 25th through 29th in your fourth house. And so this is a great time to have a party, a uh, great time just to build uh, relationships with your family and more happiness to uh, get through managing things that you want to because on a full moon you have that extra fuel of a lot of drama, important partnerships, rich social life, and vivid events. Now this full moon invites outside the box thinking which is an Aquarian favorite thing to do, think differently because it's close to the Andromeda galaxy which opened up a whole new universe for us literally when it was discovered. The full moon is also near the triangle constellation, so this will increase your interest in architecture, truth, and benevolence. So this can be very nicely utilized in your family, your property, your management, and your home. Um, also, near the heart of Ketus the Whale, you can feel the pulse in the center of life. You can be more aware of what will really animate your family, what will really make uh, good management decisions and happiness, and also what will um, fuel the pride in your nation, roots, and cultural heritage. These are other things that are happening, very apropos family and management and happiness, is to just appreciate where you came from, maybe engage in some cultural heritage festivals, and maybe make your life more about that. So overall, just a great last week of October, huge conglomerates, a lot of cooperation. Now, November is going to be very contrasty to this. So you want to maximize, you know, timing is everything. So in October, you want to move forward, and then there's going to be more of a pullback in November. It's going to be stoic, a little bit of sacrifice. We all have to toughen up. I'm telling you the honest to God truth. I live in Chicago. Tell it like it is capital of the world. And, you know, but we don't want to be self-destructive either in November, but it's going to be pretty rugged. Um, I guess the best thing, you know, and tune in for my next forecast is to be on guard and stay cool. So wishing you the best in October, and thanks very much for watching. My name is Victoria Martin.